Right, here goes. Hi, I'm Christina from Hair Romance. Um, I'm just restarting my YouTube channel. Um, after a bit of a break, I've been kind of um, a bit haphazard with making videos before, but I you keep asking on the blog, so I'm definitely committed to making more videos. Recently moved house, so my ha um, everything's a little bit of a mess at the moment, but this will be my new office, so I'm going to set up so that I can film more videos more frequently for you. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm at Hair Romance. I put a little bit of a, bit of a call out for a bit of an ask me anything uh, some, for some questions, so I thought I'd do that with this video um, so we can just talk a little bit and you can get to ask me other questions in future videos as well. So, uh, first question comes from um, Fee McD, uh, which is Fee F W I M A C D, thanks, hi, on um, Instagram. She asks, Have you always been good with hair or did you have to teach yourself? Uh, what made you decide to start hair blogging? Um, no, I was never good with hair. Uh, I hated my hair. So it kind of came from a place of necessity more than really enjoying my hair. But now it's totally come full circle and I love um, my hair and I love being able to do hair. Uh, for me, when did it start? See, it's funny, the name Hair Romance came about because I met my um, hairdresser Rowan and my husband Jim in the same street, uh, really within two weeks of each other. It was pretty amazing and it was a pretty life-changing month for me. Um, but Rowan gave me the first haircut that really showed me that my hair was curly and explained what to do with it, which completely changed my life. And obviously Jim is the man I married, so he's completely changed my life and he's pretty wonderful. Um, so that's how, <clears throat> pardon me, how hair romance came about. Uh, and then over that time, um, throughout my life, I've pretty much had every cut, colour, um, style you can imagine from like super short pixie cut. Um, I had it longer. Um, my hair was straight and then it changed to be curly. Um, so a kind of bit of a human guinea pig with hair. Um, my sister also used to be a hairdresser, um, so I learned a lot growing up around her when she was in training um, and having friends in the salon has also meant um, I kind of like to see myself a little bit of a um, translator between stylist and client because sometimes hairdressers talk a different language that when you're sitting in the chair you're really not sure what to say. So um, hopefully I can try and bridge that gap a little bit. Uh... Next question is from uh, Janzi. Uh, she says, do you brush your hair while it's wet in the shower or once you get out? Uh, odd question, I know, but I'm wondering if one way or the other helps prevent breakage or split ends. Uh, yeah, it's definitely, um, when your hair is wet, you really need to be very gentle with it. And I don't brush my hair when it's wet. I do use a wide tooth comb. I think I've got one here. Um, I use a comb like this with like a really wide tooth. Um, I use that in the shower once I've got conditioner in my hair and I use that to detangle. The rest of the time, I don't really worry. Um, I can use sometimes another tip if you've got curly hair and you want to detangle knots is to use a little bit of a leave-in conditioner spray and just use your fingers to gently pull apart the hair to detangle the knot. Otherwise, just wait till you're in the shower, um, shampoo, then conditioning, then work it out. Um, and I always, um, especially when detangling, start combing at the bottom and then work your way up. Uh, Crazy Mixer 1908-2011 says, what advice would you give to young braiders? Uh, and I think keep practicing. Um, there's so many beautiful braiders on um, Instagram. I get lots of inspiration from uh, the Instagram community and also with the braiding challenges that happen. Um, I would also, if you're looking to kind of grow your following on Instagram, um, pick a really um, similar background to take all your photos um, and use the same filter all the time. Uh, and edit your photos a little bit as well. I like using Snapseed um, and uh, even like the little Photoshop app on your phone works really well, but Snapseed is probably my favourite one. And Pick Tap Go is good as well for creating your own filter recipe. Um, and once you're posting your photos, you want to just keep them really consistent so people can um, identify your braids from anyone else's um, when they're scanning through their feed. But just keep practicing and always just experiment. Braiding and hair should be fun, so just keep having fun. Uh, Kelly Norris 24 asks, what are your favourite products? Oh, where do I begin? Um, Still don't have like a 100% holy grail curly hair product that I like, um, but I have been trying a few lately. Um, I quite like uh, Evo, um, Orbe is an expensive range, but really, really beautiful products. Um, I love the Schwarzkopf um, hair powder. That is the volume powder. It's probably one of my favorite products that I give to everybody because it's just an amazing volume lift and it's great value. Um, what other products do I love? Um, dry shampoo. Pretty much can't live without dry shampoo. I use that a lot. Uh, and um, Original Mineral is an Australian brand. They have a product called Frizzy Logic, which smells delicious, and I always use that. It's like an argan oil um, serum. I use that in the ends of my hair as well. And Braids by Jordan asks, if you could only do one hairstyle for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, that's hard. Um, 
I don't think I could. I'm not the kind of person that could wear my hair the same way every day. Um, I, oh, I don't know. I would probably try and cheat and say Dutch braids. And then I'd do like a whole different variety of Dutch braids. I really like Dutch braids in curly hair because I think they stand out more. Um, and in straight hair as well. Um, or if maybe just one style. One, one you catch me wearing a lot is um, the high halo braid. Um, high crown braid, which is a tutorial on my blog. And hairstyles by Adria asks, what kind of brush is the best to use when you have wet hair? A wide tooth comb or wet hair brush? Uh, totally depends on your hair. Um, I think a wide tooth comb, like I showed you before, is great. Um, I also love a tangle teaser. Um, these sort of flexible bristles are really gentle um, on wet hair or dry hair. Um, it's a great brush for detangling, um, particularly if you've got that hair, like finer hair that really tends to tangle. Um, these bristles are great for that. And um, BK double J W is that? Um, Kayla Woodward. Hi there. Um, she says, "What's the best braid or hairstyle for toddler thin hair?" Uh, it is harder. You don't. You'll always be able to see their scalp when you're doing little when you're doing braids and really fine hair on on little girls. Um, but I wouldn't worry. I think that's actually really cute. So um, I think Dutch braids are quite good because their hair is quite fine and they'll still sort of stand out on top. Um, or even little waterfall braids are really cute because um, you don't need a lot of hair to kind of create that effect. And when they when the hair falls back through, it can kind of cover up any really thin patches on toddler hair. And also she's requested a Dutch braid video, which I will do. Um, so there are the questions that got sent to her on Instagram. I hope that's helped. Um, I'll be filming some more videos like this. So um, send through your questions. Um, follow me on Instagram at Hair Romance and come over to the blog as well on hairromance.com. Um, thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bye.